Hey there everybody, my name is Jonathan. Today, what I'm going to show you how to do is create hydrogen in a way, I wouldn't necessarily call it safe, but you get a lot of hydrogen. One sec, let me, let me just show you the bottle of hydrogen I generated yesterday. Everything you see above the water line here is pure hydrogen. So all of this air is actually just hydrogen. So that, that would create quite an explosion. So I'm going to show you how to generate that today. There's a couple things you need. One being, if you're doing this on a wooden table that your mother might possibly yell at you for doing, glad she isn't home right now, um, make some safety precautions and uh, pad the table. Good. Okay. Second thing you need. Now, there's a couple substitutes for this, but what I'm going to use is a car battery charger. It's a jumper. It is a battery jumper from Moto Master. Sure, let's just use that. What it does is it supplies an electric charge via these two clippy thingies, which you would attach to a car battery, to either charge it if it's dead or help someone boost their car. I think you can do it that way too. It supplies 12 volts at 2 amps, 10 amps, or 50 amps. We're just going to simply use the 2 amp one because there's really not a a whole lot of difference. If you don't have one of these, either ask your father, or if you are the father, you might possibly have one. But if you don't, that's okay. You can use a simple 9-volt battery. Note that it's going to take a heck of a lot longer to do if you don't have one of these. And these are meant for it, so those are the fastest. Second thing you need, I'm going to come over here. What I've simply done here is I actually found this wire outside and I have wrapped it and attached two nails to it. That's all I've done, two separate wires, one for positive, one for negative. It really doesn't matter. Just get nails attached to wire. Second, or third thing, salt. This is sidewalk salt for when it snows or gets icy outside. You can use kitchen table salt. Works both ways. Okay, that and that. Third thing you need, and if you can't get this, I'm very tragically sorry for the state that you're currently in. Why do you have a computer if you can't get this? You need water. Water is the key element in creating hydrogen. And uh, another book. And a water bottle. This is what we're going to capture the hydrogen in. Okay, so let's get started. What I'm going to do is I'll be right back. I'm going to fill this with water, or at least three quarters of the way, and cap with it. Uh, fill this 100% to the top so there's absolutely no air inside and cap it. Okay, I'll be right back after I do that then I'll show you the result. Okay, and indeed has been the screen went blank. I can't see myself. Okay, sorry. So like I was saying, the deed has been done. I now have successfully filled the water bottle to the brim. Actually, further than that. So there's absolutely no air inside this water bottle. I'm going to flip it upside down. You do see there is a little tiny air bubble. You can see it moving in there. But that's okay. As long as it's pretty much all the way full of water. And the bucket itself also contains pretty much. You can see it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I take your salt. This is the key part. You don't really want to pour it in there, because that's not where the electrolysis, that's another name for this, is happening. But take salt and put it inside the water bottle. Put the water bottle inside here when you do it. Where you won't get any elsewhere. Now recap it. Flip it upside down. Or actually shake it around a bit so you get that salt dispersed. Now flip it upside down, uncap it, and repeat the last steps that I said, being put the electrodes in. You'll notice that when you do flip it upside down, salt will fall out. Doesn't matter, the water inside the bottle is extremely salty. Once again, don't let them touch, just like that. Good. And now, doesn't matter which ones you attach them to, they're both going to do the same thing, just to let you know. The one, the nail that produces hydrogen is the negative terminal. So I'm going to say, yeah, sure, let's go with, let's put it on this one. And then connect your positive. And note that the Moto Master is not plugged in at this time. Good, they aren't touching, they're not even close to touching. 
Now go ahead and plug it in. Now, if you plug it in and you hear, <laughs> unplug it, hurry, and unplug it, because um, the, it means the nails are touching and it's not making the right noise. So plug it in. Perfect. And when I look inside, I see lots and lots of hydrogen bubbles. I wish I could bring the camera over here to show, but I currently don't own a video camera. So what that means is, either somebody's going to have to donate to me, or I'm never going to get a video camera. You can donate on my website, your profile picture is creeping me up big time. Hmm. Yeah. No, it's making hydrogen, I just hope you trust me. I'll look at this. And if you really want to amp it up a bit, you can move that higher, but it doesn't do much. At all. So gradually, what is now happening is the electro electrodes are transferring electricity, and during that process, since it's DC current, it's causing the hydrogen and oxygen to separate. So in theory, there should be oxygen coming off one nail and hydrogen coming off the other, but the oxygen never comes off one nail for me. I don't know why. So it's kind of just like, boom, there's hydrogen. And, oh, another thing I missed. Because we're using salt, you're actually creating somewhat of chlorine gas, so don't breathe it. Um, it it's not necessarily good for you. <clears throat> and also, the water will become seriously discolored. It's going to turn a brownish color. Um, it's going to look pretty, pretty nasty. And that's because the positive terminal nail is actually disintegrating. Um, into the water. So you're going to end up with a uh, almost looking green sludge by the time you're done. Um, see how this water is kind of discolored? What I did uh, was this was actually pure black water. Let me just show you another picture here. No, I can't. It's not on screen flow. Okay, I'll, I'll throw a picture at the end of this video. But the water are right here. There. Picture. Okay, so it was that color because um, the electricity had caused the positive terminal nail to disintegrate. So the way I made this clear again was I just put this in a container, undid the cap, and let all the metal filings fall out, and it replaced it with kind of cleaner water. So it just looks nicer. And actually, this bottle is quite light due to the fact that it's hydrogen. Okay, yeah, the water's actually already black inside the bottle. Actually, I'll stop it right now, and we'll do the explosion. Dun, dun, dun. Da -da -da. Okay. So, whatever you do, do not stick your hand in the water while it's plugged in. You'll die, or be electrocuted, and it'll hurt. You probably won't die, it'll just hurt. Okay, so unplug it. Good, unplugged. Now, we don't have a lot of hydrogen, so you're not going to really see a big bark. That's another word for hydrogen bark. It's when it pops. Unplug your majidis. Okay, recap it. Surface it. Now, you are a witness to this as there's been pretty much no cuts in this video to my knowledge. But the air bubbles that are that 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 air in there is pretty much all hydrogen. So what I'm gonna do is That was a hydrogen bark. It wasn't big because there was barely any hydrogen. So, uh, yeah, that's how that works. Create a lot of hydrogen and you will get a huge hydrogen bark. It's delicious stuff, I tell you. Okay, thanks for watching. That's how to make hydrogen. Have a good day. Bye.